So this is kind of what the ball is going to look like while it's bouncing. And here is the code that you're going to be creating. And there's just not a lot of code to this one. Um, so you're going to create a new file and you're going to put it in your Lesson 9 folder. You're going to call it Bouncing Ball. So I'm basically going to pause this video while I key this in and then we'll take a look at what it does. So I've created this Bouncing Ball file and you'll notice that it's, we have it as a flex box. Uh, we have a ball class, a border radius of 50%. That is what is creating our circle. And uh, we're using a gradient, and that actually gives the illusion of 3D. So we're, it's basically a light green to black. Uh, we did put a little shadow underneath the ball. And to create that, I also did a border radius. But you'll notice that I made the height 10. The width is the same as the ball. So it's basically looking kind of flat, which is what a shadow looks like. Um, I made it black, and then I put in a fairly large top margin so it would display below the ball. Now, we're going to animate the ball, and I could have animated the shadow, um, but because you guys are just learning this, we're just going to focus on animating the ball. Uh, and then uh, we've got a div, and that's where the animation is actually going to be playing. Uh, our keyframes, we've named the animation bounce. And basically, we are going to be moving the ball. So we're using translate 3D. And you can see initially, the initial state is all zeros, which means we haven't moved it at all. But by the end of the animation, we are going to have moved it down on the Y. So that's the vertical axis. We're moving it down 400. Okay, so that is the animation. To implement it, we've put it into a div. So first thing you need to tell it is the animation that you're going to play. So we've got animation. The name of the animation is bounce, and it's going to run for five seconds. Now, it'll automatically start bouncing that ball when the page loads. So we do want a little delay, like a one second delay, so people can actually look at the page and realize it's a ball before it starts to bounce. Uh, we are going to do it an infinite number of times. <laughs> if this was on a page with content, that would probably be really annoying, but all we have on our page is a bouncing ball. Uh, and then we're going to alternate directions, so it'll go from top to bottom, and then it'll go from bottom to top. As you can see, the animation that we have starts at zero and it goes to 400. So to get the bounce, we have to have it go from 400 back to zero. So that's why we're telling it to alternate. And then the HTML is very simple. So we've got a div classes ball because that is where our ball is being created. And then we've got um, a paragraph with a class set to ball shadow. So the ball is going to be above, and then there's a little paragraph, and that's what's creating the shadow. We already said the margin was going to be 390, so it's going to be well below the ball itself. Now, why did I pick 390? Uh, basically because I'm going to have the ball drop 400, and so it'll kind of drop to where the shadow is, and then it's going to raise up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, play this so you can see how it looks. And that's pretty much all it does. <laughs> so um, usually with this kind of animation, you do want a kind of a short interval. We have basically a half a second. We set the time at 0.5 for the seconds. You know, if you wanted to slow it down, you could. You'd have a very uh, slow, slow bouncing ball, uh, probably in a planet that doesn't have the gravitational pull that ours does. <laughs> um, so anyway, that is what it should look like when you are all done. And once you've got your ball bouncing, you can go ahead and close out of bouncing ball. <laughs>